Good afternoon. Uh, question on the last time that the department modernized the state elections result website or the campaign finance website or the lobbyist directory website or the business filing website and are there plans going forward? So as far as our SHORE upgrades, we're um, including campaign finance and lobbying disclosure in the SHORE upgrades. And when it comes to our um, Bureau of Campaign and Finance um, and Operations, we are currently upgrading our system um, PA to PA Biz file. Our plan is to upgrade that um, by the end of or the beginning of next year. And um, we're moving a lot of our paper filings to online. You have an estimate on cost. Um, I'm going to turn it over to um, Deputy Secretary Iovino to talk a little bit more on that. Thank you, Secretary Chapman. The, um, the cost for the PA biz file, which will be replacing SWORD, the statewide or, uh, organization registration database, is uh, $6.9 million. Um, there's an and that includes the initial purchase cost and then two follow-on um, years of renewal for it. Now, what about with regard to the, the just the general Department of State website with respect to business filing searches and things of that nature? Is there any plans to modernize that website? That's part of the um, the PA Biz file upgrade. So that's okay. all of the charities and corporations, um, and that's a six point three four million upgrade. Which is a perfect segue into my next question. Okay. That what is your designation for listing uh, on the, when you search the website for various entities, you, know, you can file for the business, the UCC filing, things of that nature, uh, the, which, what is the distinction between listing it under a business and under a charity? Because I note when I've been on there, there's been some 501c3s that may have been listed as a charity, some 501c3s that are listed as a business that come up on that site. Okay, Deputy Secretary. So you're, in, you're indicating you think there's an anomaly in, I mean, it, the, the distinction is pretty clear whether it's a for-profit or non, not for-profit entity um, in which category that they register um, with the state and then end up in those categories on the website. So I'm not exactly sure what your question is, if you could ask it again. And to search for a, an entity it may not, it, some 501c3s are coming up under business filings and some are coming up under charity filings under that drop down on the website. Maybe you're not aware of that. I think, you know, we can definitely have further conversations with your office so we can get back to you as far as what specifically is going on there. Whenever that is, I assume the, filing, the filings that come to your office then are someone is, uh, not an IT person, but someone is, categorizing that or putting it in a certain portal or what have you. Uh, so I guess the question is, how does it fall in there? And that may be an issue to, to look into. And I'd be happy to follow up with you after this, too, to, to Thank see. You. To, I mean, the form under which somebody files is, is different, whether it's a corporation, a UC, an LLC, a charity. I, I, so, I, I totally understand that, but I'm telling you that there is, there is a, an issue with that, that there are, are 501c3s that are listed as a charity, some that are listed as a business, which, I mean, technically, I know just back in my uh, law days, I mean, you, you, you have a client that wants to file one of those entities, you got to go through that whole, how they're going to do, you know, domestic limited liability company, things of that nature, I understand that, but I'm saying that this is coming up, and I, I totally get that, that they're filing in some way, but there's something that's, if someone's searching for something, they think that they're a charity, and they're like, oh, they're not here. And, but then if we're looking, oh, wait, they're under a business. And it doesn't, I'm, I'm not doubting that what you're yeah. saying you're seeing. Yeah, we'll, we'd be happy, and I appreciate actually bringing it to okay. our attention as well. Thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.